All right, you guys, in today's video, we are off to Canada. I'm sorry, my American flag. We are going to a different country. Guys, this is made by Miles of Carvings. Phenomenal work. Uh, but we're not going to be staying in the United States in today's video. We're heading to Canada, and we are going to be testing out some of their bold claims. You guys may have seen some of the other videos I've already done up in the neck of the woods. And uh, today, we are going to be... You, you realize we've been doing some pretty extreme stuff today. We're not going to be stopping it. We're going to be actually amp upping the ante, so to speak. We're going to be taking this to the next level and testing out some of the ramps and some of the other things that they're claiming because Southland says they can do this and they can do that and they can do the other thing. And today we're going to be testing all of those things out. So everything they said they can do, we're going to find out for sure. So let's go up to Canada, eh? I've never seen any other company make this, but before we do that, we're going to look at something else that is an industry first. Ridiculous. Okay. What's ridiculous? 12-foot beaver tail, hydraulic. So this is like a drawbridge that just lowers down. You see an awful lot of 9-foot, an awful lot of 10-foot, but we came up with 12-foot. Why 12? Because I've got already a low deck height. Now I've got an awful long ramp for me to climb up on. And you guys know that when you're backing up your loader up onto a set of ramps and you're looking straight down, you're thinking, I'm gonna roll this thing. If we can make a ramp long enough and easy enough, even your employees can just grab a hold of that loader, get it up off the job site, and get onto the next place to go. Super easy, 102 so that, that, wide, not 12 feet long. Yeah. The tail itself will hold 10,000 pound lift, 8,000 pound lock. It'll lift 10,000 pounds. Uh -huh. In the middle, not on the end. Don't, don't go put a water it, buffalo on the end there. But yeah, we say that dead smack in the middle of that 10,000 pounds. Looks like there's a, we got big a truck. truck over there. I came up here to test what these guys are claiming. We ain't walking away without seeing that. It's the button and it does. It automatically does that. Whoa, 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 I hear you. The back of that truck is not 10,000 pounds. I hear you. And you can safely haul 10, 8,000 pound locked load, 10,000 pound lift. So, so you going can go down, down, the, down the road with 8,000 pounds. You can have four tons parked right here in the middle of this ramp, locked going down the road. Safely. Huh. Okay. And nobody else in the industry has a 12 foot I've ramp? I've never seen a 12 foot hydraulic beaver tail on any. There's tens. Nines. Not, there is, is there tens? Nine foots and 10 foots, that's all I've ever seen. So 12 is the biggest. That's ridiculous. Go big or go home. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you guys. Do you know how much the skid loader weighs? Any of you guys? Not very much. 13,000 pounds? Probably something like that. How much? 13. 13,000. You think this one weighs 13,000 pounds? Might not be quite, but... Should we try lifting it up on that ramp? Would you want to drive up on, the, just without the load, just drive on the ramp. We'll see if that ramp can lift you guys up. You want to try it? All right, let's see. I'll see it. Let's, let's do it. So 10,000 lift. Just check the specs on that. That's 10,500 pounds. So we said it would lift 10 in the middle. Yeah. By Southland Trailers. Really long. How big of a load can you safely haul just on the ramp? Nothing else but just from this point, bass backwards. 8,000 pounds, lock and load, dead center. Four See? tons right in the middle. You can actually haul 8,000 pounds back here. Absolutely, right here. How yeah. much can the whole trailer haul? Well, now I have to do my math. <laughs> 24 plus a 20%, 25% tongue weight, 30,000 pounds. 30,000 pounds, and this is not your big trailer? No. Nope. We're gonna look at one that blows this one yeah. out of the water. Yeah. It's a hot shotter's dream. It's a hot shotter's <laughs> absolute dream. And we are going to see that in just a minute. 
Trevor, what do we got with this one? What's the specs on it? So we're 40 feet overall, tandem 16,000 pound axles. This is our engineered trailer, which makes it a lightweight trailer. We talk a lot about strength to weight ratio. We want to put as much payload as we possibly can on it. This trailer weighs in net 7,200 pounds. 30,000 pound gross overall, okay. 7,200 pound net. So for hot shotters, it's all about how much they can haul. Yeah. That's how they get paid. Yeah. What would like the equivalent in an aluminum trailer, something that's lighter coming in? Yeah, 7,000 pounds for a 40 foot aluminum gooseneck. So 200 pounds difference? 200 pounds difference. And you wouldn't get the hydraulic beaver tail. You wouldn't have that 12 foot hydraulic beaver tail. You would have your standard little five foot beaver tail with five foot fold over ramps. So you're manually picking up manually doing the ramps? It. Yeah, 100%. Okay, what about price? Yeah, this is gonna be a third of the cost from an aluminum trailer equivalent. How about Wait a minute, a third? A third of the cost, yeah. Aluminum's expensive. You need a lot of it. You need a very high grade when you're going to be hauling this kind of weight. Aluminum's pricey. Now, the advantage then is that rust-proof part. Right, right. But, but that's what I was going to ask you, because aluminum doesn't rust. Correct. Now, we can. Now, this is going. This is wet paint. It's great paint, PPG paint. We've talked about that, and we'll have a look at how we're building these things, and you'll see the whole process. But we also do a zinc primer coat first. We do it on our commercial series, like on our Rand Dump Trader, the commercial series. We will zinc coat that first, then we will paint on top of that. So you, you built, this is a trailer you guys built, right, and you do use a zinc coating, but what is that zinc coating going to do? That makes it a rust-proof trailer for life. Believe it or not, you scribe through the paint, like you dig right through the paint, right to bare steel, that zinc coating is actually going to eat up and into that rust, and it is going to remain rust-proof. You will see the mark, but there's not going to be any rust for life. I had no clue. All right, we're gonna go into the factory and check this out, yeah. right? It's okay, be fun. and we are also gonna look at the next Gen 2 trailer that you have coming out yeah. because this is something that nobody has done, right. and I'm I'm pumped to see it. I have not seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I've heard about it for three days now, <laughs> so I'm gonna get to see it here pretty quick, and we are going to do some crazy stuff with that thing, right? Hundred percent. All right. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I, I turned the camera off and I learned crap. <laughs> this guy is like an encyclopedia of trailers, right? So zinc coating came from our Navy? Well, that's not us that invented it. Yeah, you guys put that all over your boats. You cover them up in battleship gray and sink them in the ocean. Don't sink them in the ocean. Okay. Sorry, float them in the ocean. <laughs> there we go. That's where Yeah, it came that's from. your invention. You guys pulled that together. You perfected that whole process of how do I make an iron ship rust proof? And that's what you use on your trailers. If, if people want that, and they and we do put it on our commercial grade, I mean, that's just the way it works. But if people say, I need this thing to be rust proof, I'm investing a lot of money, we'll make it rust proof. No, you just gotta make them in Battleship Gray. We can do that. What are we looking at here, Trevor? Stan, this is our main rail, the way the trailer starts. Everything that we just saw our trailers doing, this is where it starts, engineered from the bottom up. This is a 53 foot step, this is a 53 foot flat, and back there are our 26 foot and 28 foot gooseneck trailers. It's exactly the same process in what you see in a highway transport as you see in our equipment trailer. The high tensile steel welded on both sides, continuous robotic weld on both sides, a pierced beam for the I-beam, the high tensile I-beams to pass right through the main rail, keeping our deck height lower and adding a lot more rigidity. The same thing on a 53 foot step, 53 foot flat, and our goosenecks. So you build all your trailers the same? all the same from the big to the little and that's why they can do what they can do we've engineered out any of the defect and we've added the ability to be as lightweight as possible to maximize the absolute payload So this is just one of six factories that Southland has on over 37 acres. 
And when I was there, they were just starting to open up a brand new factory for their dump trailers as well. And that'll be coming out very soon, but we're gonna go check out this factory in more detail because this is where the flat deck and hot shot trailers are all built. What do they use this crane for though? Is this for the 53 foot beams? For all the webs. All, all the webs, webs off here. the tables here. So the 53 is the goosenecks. So you manufacture the beams right here in house? Correct. Yeah. So this you guys made? Yeah. yeah gonna do next we were just outside loading on that equipment trailer this is where the magic happens follow me let's do the tour grab your safety stuff this is where the main web and the flanges are stacked and we put them together and we weld them together continuously robotic welding so our 53 foot and our gooseneck trailers together marry here flange main web put together to build the engineered frame on a gooseneck trailer or a highway transport. Let's keep going. This is the robot cell where we build our aluminum ramp. The robots are going to take over. They put the ramp together. This is our heavy duty, lightweight ramp. Weighs about 40 pounds. We rate that for 4,500 pounds mid-span. You've got them on your dump trailer. Thanks, Dan. Let's keep going. This is just the main plant out of their six plants where their flat deck trailers are built. Main place where we build our 53 foot commercial highway transport trailers is exactly the same place where we build our gooseneck trailers. Our everything from 16 feet to 53 feet, all in this factory. kinds of things at the same time. We don't do back to manufacturing where we build a hundred of the same thing over and over again. We've got 16 foot with the lower deck. We've got a 14 foot, 8,000 pound axle with the high side, all being built simultaneously right next door to everything else you've seen. In here. All of our trailers use wet paint. We don't powder coat because Wet paint is just better. If powder coat was a good idea, your truck would be powder coated. We use the wet paint with the whole process to finish the steel first, to make the rough etching on the steel first. We shot blast it in this booth. We prep the steel, we audit the mill bill, we audit the profile of the steel, then we apply the paint so it sticks. This is the paint booth. Every trailer, whether it's the commercial 53 foot or the 16 foot flat deck, we do a steel shot blast and we do the paint process exactly the same way. Commercial grade all the way. Black, pink, big. Fresh out of paint, our electrical is enclosed inside the main rail. The wiring is buried. You're not gonna have to worry about loose wires coming undone somewhere under your trailer. Right down to the finish line for the 53 foot flat deck commercial series. Again, the same technology that goes into this that we saw at the very beginning is what goes into our equipment trailers and we transfer that right through everything we built. And that's the tour. That was it. Thanks so much for coming. <laughs> I hope that made sense. It was a great time. Thank you, sir. All right, so we just got done touring the factory and you've got all of your, uh, not even all of them, but no. most of them. Yeah, this is a up. great cross section of the flat deck trailers that we've got. Okay, so what are we looking at as we go down the line here, Trevor? What, are, what should we be? What should we know? Well, Stan, you know the, the very same technology that goes in the very big commercial series all the way down, right at our little 16, 18 foot car haulers and equipment trailers. It's the same technology that we use all the way down the line. We're not skimping and cheaping out and putting in inferior materials and, and lighter materials, you know, to make a lesser trailer. We want to build it so it's robust, so it's strong, so you can get some great use out of it so there'll be longevity you know you give it to the employees they get the job done you're happy to take this and drag it behind your truck and load it up and unload it for years and years to come you know heavy duty ramps we looked at this one in the factory 
8,000 pound slipper springs, heavy duty tube steel frame, our heavy ramps, but yet light enough that it's easy enough to manage them. A triple axle, low boy trailer, beaver tail stand up steel ramps, our deck over trailers with tandem or triple axles. Then our, our deck over trailer with our five foot beaver tail. We use a six foot beaver tail on our equipment trailers, but on our little deck overs here, this is a five foot beaver tail. And this is exactly the same technology, except one foot shorter that goes into our engineered equipment trailer, gooseneck trailers, exactly the same, shortened down, we put it onto our deck over trailers. Our tandem axle, 25 foot plus five foot. You know, Stan, I, I, maybe it's to our detriment that we don't cheap out on their little trailers, but we won't. We're still a family run business. We're 43 years old. Our name is all over these trailers and we want to build things that last. All the way from the commercial series, these Super Bs, all the way to the very smallest of trailers. We take pride, we take exception to, to cutting corners and we want it to be something that's going to last. We'll use the same technology that we learned in these and we'll apply it all the way down the line. That high tensile I-beam cross member that we started to use in these little bit smaller into our equipment trailers and now that one is underneath every one of these trailers all the way down the line okay so this is all his idea <laughs> and the, he is a freaking crazy canadian let's I'm just see you. what's gonna happen <laughs> you <know>. never <laughs> before <laughs> so this is this ramp is this is our standard galvanized ramp that goes in our dump trailer our fourteen thousand pound bloody hell we do that one more time <laughs> yeah go keep talking Good. this is in our standard 14 foot 14,000 pound dump trailer. This is in our premium dump trailers with our 8K axles, our premium aluminum ramps. This one weighs in at, well, you've got this one. This is what, about 30 pounds, 40 pounds? Yep. We're gonna test these ramps just, just to make sure with that. And that is? Well, all together, if we could get it all on those ramps, it's about 30,000 pounds. But we're gonna start. No, it's more than that. Zach, how much does this thing weigh? 43,000 pounds. All right, yeah. it's a little more than Don't Don't ask pounds. a Canadian to do math, okay? <laughs> don't ask him to do math. It's a big but, one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just freaking big. We're stuck in metric, I don't know, right? I thought you said when you're in Canada, go big or go home, go right? Go big or go home. You know what, let's just see what's gonna happen. Did you guys, did you guys just hear that? I'm telling you, these are freaking crazy Canadians. Well, they're kind of like they speak my language. <laughs> from Southland. If you break your dump trailer ramp, you're an idiot. Or we'll give you a hoodie and a mug and another set of ramps and congratulations. I don't know how you did it, but <laughs> we couldn't do it. So if you did it. this ramp at 2,500 pounds each. All of our ramps are rated for what the dump trailer can hold. We want to test it and get it done right. Nice out there. Now it's crazy, and I'm going to say this in, the, in this one. 
Is this one still running? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh. This is a 12 gauge steel ramp. Everyone's gonna say that ain't enough. You need 10 gauge, you need, you need seven gauge, 316 steel. If you're gonna build something, you gotta have more steel. You gotta have bigger steel. If you engineer it right, if that beam design underneath, we were just looking at it, that beam, this is an engineered ramp, that beam distributes the weight across the ramp. You just saw it. And it's the same beam that runs up the length of the box underneath our dump trailers to distribute the weight evenly across the entire So you span. design your ramps the same way you design your dump trailers. Absolutely. Engineered from the start. We rate it for a lot less than what you just saw, but we want to make sure it's going to work. When you buy the trailer, when you use the ramps, we want you to be confident that it's going to last, it's going to work, it's going to take care of you. <laughs>